beautiful Thursday morning, 10.30. We drove 15 minutes away from our uh, house. Some of you told us that um, you were interested about the health system and public schools here in Tenerife. We decided to make a short vlog about our experience with the health system here, how to put your kids in school. This vlog will be about health system and public schools in Tenerife. First thing you need to know, and I want to add a disclaimer. This li this is this li this is this is um, solely based on our experience, based on our experience and what we have learned so far. There are three options in order to benefit from uh, healthcare here in Tenerife. The first one is, of course, uh, employment. So a company hires you and then um, you receive a, a social security number and with that social security number you can get your uh, health card the second option will be uh, you get self-employed so basically it's the same thing you get a social security number and then you receive your health card and the third option which we didn't uh, considered is uh, to have a private insurance uh, at the private uh, doctor or at the private company these these are from our experience the three options in order to to be insured health insurance here in Tenerife. if you have kids and one of the partners is insured automatically the kids are insured yeah. so also the one that doesn't work yeah the husband. the husband or the wife or the partner is also insured so if one of you is already uh, has health insurance I also must add that we are not familiar with the third option, private insurance, so we cannot talk much about it. Uh, I assume it's a matter of uh, choosing your insurance here in Tenerife. From what I've heard, it's around 50 euro per person and then you're practically insured. Uh, let me show you another beach here called, called Las Gaviotas. It's like uh, maybe five minutes drive from... Uh, from um, Las Teresitas beach. This is a, I would say, semi-nudist beach because there are people who, of course, are nude and then there are people like us who are not nude, who are, not nude, who are dressed, who have just swimming suits on. This is a black sand beach, volcanic sand. We wanted to spend the day here or maybe the half of it, but this is not very appropriate for levy that's why I think we're gonna go to Las Teresitas, right? This is called Las Gaviotas Beach. It's, it's very beautiful, shallow entrance. So if you like nudism, come here. Uh, so now let's talk about the process. What do you have to do in order to get uh, to be insured here? And after we talk about the process, we will talk about real life scenario. Yes, okay. In order to get the health card, which is Tarjeta de Salud, you need a social security number. In our case, we had the social security number from uh, uh, the employee. And uh, with this social security number, I went to Centro de Seguridad Social, which is a center of uh, social security. And I said, we are a family of five. This is the social security number. Uh, we need the uh, health cards. So she gave me papers and uh, with these papers I went to the nearest uh, center of health. They automatically, automatically, automatic, they automatically immediately gave me the, they immediately, the, they gave me, they gave me right away the um, health cards. It was a, a little bit complicated in the beginning because <clears throat> I didn't know the process but it's actually quite simple and um, they are very uh, helpful they help you they tell you thank Your you man takes care of you Cheers. Cheers. and because we have the health cards i can drink coca-cola zero <laughs> with no problems each neighborhood has its own health center somebody will tell you where you belong just go to a center de salud and they will tell you okay you have to go there our drinks are here like yeah. a baywatch Star. Beer for a big guy. Yeah. It took me a little bit because I 
did not know the process very good so I was a little bit frustrated in the beginning I will say Centro de Salud because uh, it's Centro de Salud here you will be assigned a doctor uh, and uh, if you have kids the kids will be assigned another doctor for instance the kid pediatrician she called me and she said she was very nice she said okay i saw that you registered um i can wait to meet you to meet the kids maybe when covid is over you can come and i get to know them and check the history of the kids okay if you need a specific uh, treatment or you need a specific doctor like a dermatology dermatologue or cardiologue or specific domains your uh, main doctor will give you a referral and then you will have to go and make an appointment to the specialty that you need we didn't have this uh, problem until now and we are very thankful like Christina said thank thank God we didn't uh, need it until now a specific doctor for specific problem although so I'm telling you a bit about a problem that I had so I had a kidney infection a couple of months ago and uh, <clears throat> I went to the to the doctor actually I went to the hospital where, where we are assigned to the Centro de Salud and it was an uh, emergency because I couldn't sleep all night anyway I had like um, very huge infection near to like blood poisoning I went to the Centro de Salud at the emergency uh, area I, w I was waiting I think 10 minutes and then the doctor came, talked to me in English, gave me the treatment, gave me the medicine. I was up and running in 10 days with no issue. Actually, I felt better the second day after I took the medicine. I think they are very well prepared. And he said, if you notice that after 10 days, things are not getting better, I'm going to refer to you at uh, another big health center where there's a urology specialist and then you're gonna be treated there and maybe you have to stay in the hospital for a couple of days. Thank God it was not the case, but this is how it worked. I think the health system here is good, comparing it also to Vienna. Like I said, probably you can get health insurance also some other ways, private. This is how we learned so far. I will also add one more thing. After 30, because I was spending a lot of time in the sun and went to the beach a lot and all summer I was I have a certain skin type I had a lot of moles all over my body like little moles big small moles and I was always afraid to go to the doctor I didn't knew what will cost me in Vienna and stuff like that so Christina made an appointment here at the private clinic so it's not covered by insurance and I went there I paid 150 euros for all my mole removals 150 euros i will do it in two sessions i already been there and they removed nine of them i'm gonna put a small portion of the video where they remove it right now Hola. <laughs> So as you can see, the process is painless. It's also cheap, in my opinion, 150 euros. It took me, about, the whole process, removing all of, all of the moles you've seen, I think it were, there were nine. It took, it took 15 minutes, maybe. So that, that's the thing. Although we are on an island near the coast of Africa, everything is up to date. Every, you, you can find anything here, including good, good doctors, good hospitals, and good healthcare private clinics, aesthetic sur surgery. Uh, there are a lot of uh, clinics I've saw with uh, like small aesthetic surgery, dental clinics, implants and stuff like this. And from what I've read on the price list, uh, they are also a lot cheaper than, for example, UK or Germany. This is our information, what we know so far about the health system here in uh, uh, here in Tenerife. If you are employed, if you are uh, like self-employed, then the process is simple. From the moment you have a social security number, you're already in the system and every Centro de Salud can see it. And then you just get your health card and that's it. Never been to the dentist so far, so we don't know, we can't speak about it. Although we have friends here who have been to the dentist with their kids and they told us that uh, dental 
care for children up to 15 years is free in all of Spain, including here, of course, which is... And now let's talk about the public school system and how it works. Again, based on what we know so far and based on our experience, what was the process to look for a school, to find a school, to register the kids in school? Uh, Christina will tell you more about it. First of all, with the school, we started uh, with an email. We sent email to schools where we wanted to register the kids. We didn't receive uh, answers from all of them, but a couple of them answered. And they also said, you go to the nearest school you have uh, in your neighborhood, and then you go and ask for information or register or something. Based on our address, where we live. And then that's what we did. We looked for a high school for Tanya, and we looked also for an elementary school for Sophie and for Levi. So I went to the nearest school, which is uh, luckily just across the street. And uh, I, I went to secretary and I said, we have three kids. I explained her, okay, we don't speak Spanish. The kids don't speak Spanish. And she said, it's okay, no problem. And she asked me, what are their ages and the birth year? I told her and she said two of, uh, of the kids can come here and the one of them must go to another school, to high school. Good, let's register the two kids here. And then, then she said, we will put them in the classes according to their uh, year birth. Basically in Spain, I think probably in all of Spain, but most definitely in Tenerife, it doesn't matter from which uh, in which class they, your kids were when they left your uh, home country. It only matters what age they are. So according to their age, they will be put in the according class. For example, Tanya was in the sixth grade in Austria. And when we moved here, they put her directly in the eighth grade high school. It was a shock for us, but this is how it works here. It's based on the kids age and not based on what class they finished in their home country and what i found found funny is that they didn't ask for any uh diploma diplomas so this was i was insisting okay these are the grades this is a and she said no we don't need that we just need the <laughs> birth, birth certificate basically they give you a list i received a list but without the health insurance it's not possible to register your kids in any school so you have to have a health insurance for your kids if it's not possible to to have a health insurance because you don't work or maybe if you Private you are just here for a couple of months and you just want your kids to go to school make a private insurance and with the, with that private insurance it's possible to put your kids in school uh, let me read you what the schools uh, wanted from us uh, regarding documents in order to, to register the kids. Christina, I think she wants to take a break and sit in the sun. It's a list, it's a list, and first thing is you have to have your birth certificate, then a copy of your passport or residence card, which we didn't have at the time, but passport was enough. Then a document to uh, confirm your address where you live, this could be like, uh, like, like, for example, a rent contract, a copy of the social security number and uh, a health card. They also asked for a childhood vaccination uh, document, which we didn't brought. Also two passport photos for your kids. So these are basically the thing that we had to bring. The list is much more like it's like maybe 15 things, but we only brought four or five, which were enough. Birth certificate, copy of the passport, the social security number and the uh, tarjeta de salud, like the health card. And that was it. But the most important thing for them was the tarjeta de salud, like the, the health card. This, the, this health card opens doors. This is how you basically put your kids in school. Now let's talk about schools and what it's like now in 2022. Public schools have a schedule until 1.30 o'clock, meaning that the kids don't have breaks between hours, between uh, classes. Just only one break of a half an hour, uh, which is called Big Recreo, lunch break, 
it's 30 minutes but other than that they just go from class to class and this thing is because of corona and they sometimes go out of course in the yard playing and doing sports some of the books for the kids you have to buy we have three kids so they are not cheap some of the books cost uh, 20 euros a book in some of the schools here you have to wear a uniform and you have to buy the uniform sophie and levy are wearing a uniform um, Tanya not, she's in high school and her school doesn't request a uniform. Until now, since September, since October when they were in school, there were no trips with the kids outside. I'm not sure why, probably also because Corona. Before Corona, I heard that uh, normally the schedule was to until 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. In the Canary Island, there are also school holidays. Uh, in February there is a school holidays but it's mainly for the Canary Islands uh, then Easter uh, carnival holidays um, also winter holidays Christmas the, the summer holidays I think it's two and a half months here up to three months two and a half three months besides public schools there are also private schools private schools are um, you have to pay and there are also German schools, English schools, French schools, but we decided to uh, go for a public school. Firstly, because the proximity to our uh, flat and also because we wanted the kids to learn Spanish as fast as possible. They already speak German and English, so there's no need for that. I, I don't know much about private school, so I can't really talk about it. We have friends who have kids in private school here in Tenerife and I think they pay 400 euros a month per kid so that's around 800 euros a month but private school have a schedule also now until 5 or 4 p.m. so uh, probably if you work it would be better to, to, to bring them to a private school. That's our knowledge about health system and schools here in Tenerife. Please feel free to ask us questions in the comments below. We will happily reply, give you our input on how things work here. Uh, we will definitely try to do more videos like this, similar videos with information. If we missed something, if you know there's something more to what we've said, please also feel free to add it in the comments. This is based only on our experience. We would really appreciate if you will give us a thumbs up and if you subscribe our channel. Thanks and see you next time guys. Bye. Bye.